Well, good morning, you guys. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Yes. Happy Tuesday to you, baby. Yes. It's, um, with this time change, shoot, it's dark. It's, it's seven o'clock and it look like it's, look. Okay, well, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a good weekend. Thank you for clicking on my video. Look here, I want to show you a, a clip, and I'm going to come back and talk about it. Because this right here, look, I look, I can't, okay, I can't. So watch this clip real quick, and then we're going to have us a, a conversation. Hold on. Okay. Now, what did you think of that? Okay. I, for one thing, when I was growing up, and I know I keep saying that, I keep going back to that, but we did not do that in, in school. We did not do that. We, the, it's like there's no expectations for kids to be respectful. Okay. Like, I don't know. I can't, you can't always blame it on the parents because there's a lot of times parents can talk to their kids, put them on punishment, scold them, everything. But when they leave that house, okay, when they walk out of your presence, okay, there's peer, peer pressure. There's so much stuff going on right now. And when they leave out of your presence, all you can do is hope and pray that they remember the the morals and the and the the, the stuff that you instill in them. Okay, I I don't get it. You don't go to school. This boy then pulled the the teacher's wig off and start dancing and everything. All just thought and everybody in the class thought it was funny. That's somebody's mama. That's somebody's grandmother. She wasn't a young, <coughs> excuse me, like a younger woman in her 30s. She was an older woman. She was an older woman, okay? And even if she was in her 30s, respect is respect. But this is an older woman. That's somebody's mother, grandmother, okay? And See, what I don't get is these kids do not understand the roots of our education when it comes to African-Americans. OK, I'm just going to say that. OK, and most of the kids in that room, that's what they were, African-Americans. OK, and I'm only bringing this up because of this. We had to struggle. OK, we was not Back in the day, way back in the beginning, I'm calling it the beginning of humanity, of uh, not beginning of before Christ. Now, I'm talking about the beginning, like slavery beginning. OK, we were not allowed to have any ed education. We were not allowed to learn how to read and write. We were not allowed, we would get whooped if we even tried to utter a word and try to spell it. After that, you know, after slavery, we got released, look, released, okay? Then we had to fight being segregation. And all these people, Dr. Dr. Luther King Jr., okay, Malcolm X, okay, Rosa Parks. I mean, the list goes on. All these people that has fought for us today. See, we're, see, the fight that they did yesterday, 
we are living and taking advantage of today. The opportunities that we have today started with the struggle back then when they struggled. And now we're struggling to make a difference for our children. It just goes on and on and on. Do they not realize that we were not able to be in school? That the teachers would always tell the little black kids, especially the black boys, if they want to be a doctor, no, no, no. Carpentry is what you guys need to do. Carpentry is what you need to do. In other words, work with your hands, build hammer, fix things. Okay, you're, you're not capable enough to do that type of work because of, I, I don't even want to go into how deep this is, but you know I always got to go deep with it. You see how they acted in school? Nowadays, you can't even get a job. Now, when I was growing up, a high school diploma is all you needed to get a good job. Then it went from high school diploma to certificate. You know, you needed to go to some kind of training program to get a certificate. Then it went to at least you need to have 60 units, which is an AA. <laughs> now it's bachelor's and master's. Okay? I just, I don't get it. I don't get the disrespect. I don't get, I don't get it. How they go to school and act like that. And then are they contacting the parents? I'm like, what, what are they doing? Like what's happening with, 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 with the school system? You know, I mean, I know we can't blame it on the school system. Okay. I, I can't, I, I, I know we can't do that, but somewhere there's got to be some accountability, accountability. Okay. With this. OK, I, I, I just I don't understand. I don't understand the disrespect. OK, the disrespect. The fighting, all these things that they're doing in the classroom that they're doing in school. OK, then they're going to grow up. They're going to end up being somebody's father. They're going to be ignorant. Can't read and write. Stuck at a mediocre job. Or or yet they're going to be running down to the Social Security office trying to get SSI because they're illiterate. They can't read and write. So they're going to get on the system. OK, it's a vicious cycle. So because you can't work, you can't read or write. You can't do a driving job because you can't read the street signs. Can't pass the test. So you're just going to be stuck in a mediocre job if you're lucky. Because if not, you're going to be on the street hustling. Okay, working on car, cars under the table, being a shade tree mechanic. I mean, the cycle goes. Okay, it, it just it trickles down. So what these kids in school doing this, what are they going to teach their kids? I, 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 I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And, 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 and we can't blame the school system. They can do only what they can do. It, it got to start at home. Some kind of way. It, they have to take, some parents need to take responsibility. See, I used to pop in on my daughter at school. I was one of them. Do a drive-by. Pop in. Okay. Look in her backpack, see what she if she's doodling on her notebook pads. Okay, getting more involved. I understand, especially the single parents. I get it. I was a single parent, but if I could take time off to go get my hair done, or I'll, you know, you call your hairdresser. Well, I can only do it on Tuesday. I'm all booked up over the weekend. So now you taking off work to go get your hair done. You know, because you you can't go get that sew in. She's booked up over the weekend. She all booked up. So you need to get in. So you go make you an appointment to go get your hair done. 
You take off work. So if you could take off work for that, you can't take off work for your kids. I don't get it. Priority. Priority. We have to start taking responsibility. Okay. For what our kids are doing. And checking in on our kids. That was a damn shame. What they did. That was a goddamn shame. It's just. It's just unacceptable. To me. And now I'm fussing. Because I just. I don't get it. I don't get it. I need y'all to comment. And tell me what you think of that video. Tell me what you think. Is it, is it, do we go back to the family, to the parents? Do we blame society? Do we blame, what? let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Because that was really disturbing to me. Really disconcerting. Very disconcerting. Very. Look. Anyway, y'all. I am drinking my protein drink. I have my nuts and everything for a snack. My nuts. I made them myself. I got me a big can of, of mixed nuts. I got me some raisins and stuff in it. I have my uh, Beyond uh, sausage for lunch with some lettuce and, 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 well, basically spring mix lettuce. You know, the spring mix with my tomatoes and cucumbers make me a little salad. And, um... Hey, we, we got to go out there and get that nut. We want that nut. We got to go out there and get it. And I, I want that. Okay, I want to get this, get this off and, and get healthy again. So I got to do what I got to do. Okay, so that's all I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to say good morning and wish you guys a, a happy day, a blessed day. And bring that video to you guys. That was very disconcerting. I'm really irritated over that. Because these kids do not understand the struggle we went through to get where we are today. To get where we are today. Ooh, let me stop before I go on for another 10 minutes. Okay, do they not know the struggle? Do they not have anybody talking to them? Where's the old grandparents from back in the day? Like my grandmother. Okay, you better go and sit your tail down somewhere and go, or you want you want mother to go get a switch. Matter of fact, go outside and pick, give me the, give me a switch so I can whoop your tail. We got whoopings. Not only did we get whoopings, we had to go get the object that we was gonna get whooped with. Okay, my grandmother Dorothy. Oh, yes. We had to go get the object that we're going to get whooping with. Oh, please. Okay. Woosa. That was, ooh, that just upset me, y'all. I'm going to sit here. I'll be at work in 15 minutes. I'm going to drink the rest of my protein drink. Okay. I'm going to say a prayer before I leave off camera. But um, I do want you guys to have a good day. Thank you for tuning in and watching it till the end. Look, <laughs> look, watching it till the end. Okay, thank you so much. I ain't going to tell you to, to subscribe and all that no more. Okay, because if you want to subscribe, you will. Okay, I got to the point now, I, I, I'm not going to keep asking. Okay, you like my content? You feeling my vibe? Subscribe. That's it. Like, share, comment. I'm not going to, look, it is what it is, y'all. I'm going to keep doing me and keep praying that people will support me. That's all I can do, y'all. Okay? So keep your head up, chest out, nose level. Okay? Don't be walking around with your nose all stuck up in the air. Okay? Keep that joy that God gave you today. Don't just give it away. All right? And look here. I ain't even going to tell you what to stay sucker free. You already know that. I've already been telling you that. Okay? So until the next video, peace.